It's finally here, it's finally here. After many months of being pushed back, back, and then back again, the update to the Eufy indoor cameras has been released. Hurrah! A year ago, I made a video about this, Eufy's indoor 2K PTZ camera. I unboxed it, I set it up, and I gave you my opinions. Therefore, I'm not gonna go over this again because, well, the last video was painful enough, so I'm not gonna subject you to that again. Before I crack on, I should point out, Eufy did send me this for free, so thank you for supporting small creators such as myself. So, what's the point of this video? Well, up until right now, these have been standalone cameras, which has meant although you can see them as one in the Eufy security app, they in fact are managed on their own and need their own storage in the form of a micro SD card. For example, if I wanted to arm all of my cameras, I would need to arm my home base three, which automatically sets anything connected to it, and then manually go in and arm this camera, as well as any others that aren't compatible, such as my floodlight cams, for example. But now with the release of new firmware, these are now compatible with the new Home Base 3. Hooray! To what extent? I don't know. We're about to go and find that out. I also have a uh, recent video. <coughs> I also have a fairly recent video about the Home Base 3 where I talked about everything it can do and why you should or shouldn't upgrade. Link can be found up here somewhere. So what does compatible with the Home Base 3 even me? Well it means that these cameras listed somewhere now on your screen can be added via the Eufy app via the Home Base 3, which means well, I don't know. Let's get it added and find out. The initial setup of this camera is exactly the same as described in my previous video, and it's only after the initial setup that the new stuff can happen. So let's assume you've watched my previous video, I'll link it up here, and done the initial setup. Start by opening up the Eufy app, and if you're not prompted by the app to update your camera's firmware, then click into the camera settings cog, then into general, about, and then at the bottom of this screen, click on update firmware, or I think it's check for updated firmware. I updated this camera yesterday, but it only updated to 2.17 and needs to be updated to 2.18 or higher in order to have the new features that allows it to be added to the home base free. If you can't update to the latest 2.8 version, it turns out Eufy staged the rollout of updates. So just keep trying every 24 hours or so, and eventually you will see the latest version, which at time of filming this video is 2.1.8.3. I personally didn't want to wait, so I swapped my camera out for one of my brothers who had been lucky enough to get the update before me. How rude. So before starting the whole home base three thing, you will need to ensure that your Eufy app is up to date from your app store of choice and that your home base three also has the latest version of firmware. Once you meet all of the requirements which will now be on your screen, you are ready to rock and roll. This time around though, unlike with the Eufy Cam 2C, you don't need to delete and re-add anything. Thankfully, Eufy have a migration process to move this camera from being a standalone camera to being connected via the home base 3, and it's a very simple three-step process. This is what I've just explained. Make sure your camera, app, and home base 3 are all up to date running the latest versions of firmware. Open the camera settings from the home screen by clicking on the settings cog. If you have the correct version of firmware, then you'll see at the top a new option for edge connection. Click on this and then confirm the prompt, which will then search for any home bases on your network. Needless to say, the home base and the camera need to be on exactly the same network. Choose the home base you wish to add the camera to. If you're fortunate to have more than one, then lucky you. And then choose what recordings you want to store on the home base. Events only will record motion-based alerts or events and continuous will allow you to continue to use the 24 seven recording that this device offers. In this final step, you do absolutely nothing other than wait for the app to test everything is working and then report back to you that it is. If you get any errors or problems here, then sorry, you're on your own. I'm joking. I wasn't able to generate any errors at all, having done this process many, many times. But if you do, then from experience, Eufy support isn't too bad at helping out. So drop them a line. So what are the new benefits when adding the Eufy indoor cameras to the new home base 3? Disappointingly, not much at all. The only added functionality or benefit you get by adding this camera is the ability to store your footage on the home base 3 
if you have your own hard drive installed, that is. Which, don't get me wrong, is great. It's a single location for all of your footage and the footage is encrypted and secure, but I really was hoping for more. You're still unable to set a single schedule on the Homebase 3 for all of your devices. You still need to manually arm, disarm this camera in addition to the Homebase. And you don't get the added benefit of the AI Bionic Mind with advanced detection and face recognition that the Homebase 3 offers other devices such as my doorbell. Also, if you use Apple HomeKit with this camera, then by adding it to the Homebase, you lose this benefit because the Homebase 3 is not yet Apple HomeKit compatible. And I don't know or think it ever will be. Don't get me wrong, it's not all doom and gloom. The whole new migration process is very useful and easy to follow, and it saved a lot of time having to go around resetting and re-adding cameras. I just really wish there was more functionality added to this other than the change in storage. Who knows, maybe in the next round of updates we'll get something like that. All I'm waiting for now, with not so much bated breath, is the round of updates for the solo cams, which are anticipated late April, and the floodlight cams, which are late May. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be more than just the storage update we've just experienced. If you found this video in any way helpful, if you liked it, or even if you didn't for that matter, then please do consider liking the video down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Perhaps consider subscribing and hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos because it helps me get sent more free stuff to make videos about. So yeah, thanks. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put a shade on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me?